As a society in need of sending money faster than traditional methods, like mail and a check, wire transfers are considered a safe way to send money. However, their immediacy, irrevocability, and high dollar nature makes them an ideal target for fraudsters. In fact, wire transfer fraud is an ongoing threat for financial institutions, fueled by increased digital payment requests during the pandemic. According to Onalytics, cyber attacks against financial services organizations skyrocketed 238% in 2020 and an additional 118% in 2021. In 2021 alone, the Modern Bank Heist's 4.0 threat report indicated 57% of surveyed institutions experienced an increase in wire fraud. So, what does this all mean? Well, it means financial institutions of all sizes must stay vigilant in their detection and mitigation efforts to protect their account holders and lessen losses. While wires have historically been the preferred tool for money launderers, prompting anti-money laundering regulations and enhanced Know Your Customer or KYC practices by financial institutions, social engineering schemes are sounding alarms all over the country using a variety of tactics to prompt wire transfers, including the fake tech support claims, where a caller says they've identified a problem with your computer and ask you for your banking information to send a refund. But instead, they send an amount much larger than promised and ask you to wire them the overage. Or the bogus lending or escrow company that sends fraudulent wire instructions to help the stressed investor close on the purchase or refinance of their home. The elusive, lucrative business opportunity in a foreign country that requires the investor to keep the details secret and to move quickly is almost always a no-go. The urgent phone call about a family member in trouble who needs money for an emergency when in all reality, they're safe at home. The alarming call from the IRS threatening arrests and penalties if you don't pay an outdated bill. And finally, the ever-popular search for long-lasting love where an online love interest begins asking for money to help with travel expenses to finally be able to visit or to cover their unexpected medical bills. And by no means is this an all-encompassing list of wire scams. Like other fraud schemes, education and training are some of the best mitigation tools at a financial institution's disposal. It's important for banks and credit unions to make sure staff is up to date on fraud schemes and frequently complete cybersecurity training as well as fully understanding your institution's procedures and controls. Employees should be skeptical of any email instructions for wire transfers or last-minute changes. Staff should be leery of urgent requests, particularly if the request is for someone who is purportedly unavailable to confirm the wire transfer request. Be skeptical of wire instructions requesting a much larger dollar amount than normal or being sent to a new beneficiary. Email requests should be examined with a fine-tooth comb. Always verify instructions by calling the customer or member using a previously verified phone number. Scan the email for any abnormalities, like dashes or hyphens being inserted where they're not supposed to be or different emails being masked by a friendly from name. Wire requests should also be compared with the account holder's history. Is this a common request within their typical limits? Also, never assume the person on the other end of the request is who they say they are. Always verify the authenticity of each request. Call them using a number you have on file for them. Implement dual control and segregation of duties. And test, test, test. Review policies and test them often. Include email scam testing with your employees to see if you can entice someone to act upon a wire request. Then follow up with any adjustments that need made. It's also important for financial institutions to educate account holders and business clients on the latest fraud schemes by various educational means. Make sure consumers and businesses keep their systems updated with the latest antivirus and malware protection. Have appropriate firewalls in place and update all security patches. Educate them on different fraud schemes to steal login credentials and passwords. Ensure they understand and control procedures such as callbacks or dual control and why you have them in place. Newsletter articles, social media posts, statement stuffers, online banking portal notices, and videos are a few ways you might share fraud prevention tips. Our other Did You Know videos are also a great resource you can use. I've said it before, and it's true. It takes a village to fight fraud. If you have specific questions about payments fraud, reach out to us via phone, email, or website chat. And stay safe out there.